Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down another booster cracking and today we're jumping back into some Wii Cross. I haven't been here in a minute, I've still got some Japan boxes of these suckers and uh, I really have been excited to get back into them since I had like a whole month of Force of Will. And today we're opening up Reincarnation. It's a classic box from the Wii Cross series and uh, with some pretty cool stuff in it. Right here on the cover, that's a card we want to be looking for in a parallel. That's one of the most expensive cards in the set, so you know we're going to be trying to find that here. Let's take a closer look though, shall we? Here we go, Reincarnation. Beautiful looking box. I love the logo design on this thing too. Lots of cool multiple character art cards and stuff in this set. Again, those are the ones we're going to be wanting to look out for. So let's waste no time and get into some Wii Cross. Get the box open here. Here's our little punch cards as we're used to and they look pretty sick of course all these characters on here are all really cool cards this one especially has some really really awesome artwork i hope we get that card but that's that we do get some sleeves that's nice very good very good not a whole lot but just a few and the packs themselves looking very fresh first pack let's see what we can find in these it's been a while since i've just opened up the regular sets i opened up a bunch of the Interlude Diva from the English. Those were a lot of fun. I've got to get on pre-ordering for the next one, whichever one's coming out next. I'm not even sure. All right, let's see. Ooh, she's cool. She's got the Wii Cross logo just flying on her head there. That's cool. I like the little uh, laser effects on that card, I guess, or the neon, neon effects, I guess. There we go. Let's see, we're into the rares. We got a random common just sitting here. Interesting. Wait, what happened? Rare, rare, common. Was this pack like a dud or something? We had the, a common at the back and no foils. All right, I guess this set doesn't guarantee you a fo uh, one foil per pack, I suppose. That's interesting. Huh, that's pretty odd, I feel like, for Wii Cross, isn't it? Like, don't they usually guarantee you a foil? I, I thought that was the case. Let's see if this one does it too. We got common, common. Pretty cool artwork on that one. Common, common, rare. We got another rare. She looks pretty cool. We got a, there's the common again. And then there's our foil card. It's like we were missing a card out of that pack. That is really interesting. But a beautiful looking super rare here. Very, very nice artwork. Check that out. That is just stellar. Always impressed with the artwork in these sets. They look really nice. This is no exception. Looks very cool. Next one. All right. It looks like uh, we did not miss any cards from that last pack. So it does seem like you're just not guaranteed the foil hits like we're used to seeing. But that's all right. Let's see. Let's see. We're still going to get some good stuff out of this box. We got our rare. We got our weird common here. Again, it's just like common, 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 rare, rare, common, and then a super rare <laughs> like this one. She looks cool. She looks like something from League of Legends, doesn't she? She's got that very very cool aesthetic to her. It looks something like straight out of League of Legends. She could be a character in there. A very nice super rare. Again, very, very cool. I like this one. But you know we want to find a parallel. I don't think I've really found a legit parallel yet. Uh, I found some really nice sign cards, which have been great. These cards are always like worth some value. These little placeholder cards. I don't know what they're used for in game, uh, but those usually have some interesting value on them considering that's some really cool artwork with the borders of the leaves. That's cool. Give them the freedom to expand on the border a little bit, not be so tight bordered on some of these things. It's really nice. Rare, and then we got our another rare, and then we got our common. See, this is a common. Is this like a full art common? Is that what's happening here? This is like more of a full art, but it's non-foil, just a common. So interesting. Cruising on through. Let's see it. We got three outside. Whatever that means. Three outside, we got the common. We going into the rares. She's playing blackjack or something. That's pretty neat. There, there's her card. Look at that. LC card, first LC card here, non-foil. But look how awesome that is. That is really, really dope looking. Uh, so this one should have some value. Even though it's not a foil, I'm guessing it's still got a couple bucks value, but that is really neat. Uh, LC card, and then we've got a, there you go. There's a common foil full art. Is this technically full art? It is extending, so I'm gonna say it is. Uh, really cool, really cool looking. Just a common, but not bad. Look at that sparkle, dang. Hoi, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can see in here. All right, we got, there she is right there. Non-full art version. We got a rare, we got a rare. She's pretty cool. Look at that common, wow. That is pretty stellar. Behind it though, we get a super rare looking extra, extra sparkle. Oh my gosh, there's so much detail going on in this card. 
one of these butterfly fairy girl things to get her wings extending, but it's kind of confusing. There's a lot happening here where you can't really tell what's going on to a degree, uh, but still pretty cool, super rare, you know, not bad, not bad. Next up, all right, let's see what we got. Ooh, wow, she's cool. I like her style, that is neat. All right, more commons, and then we've got our first rare there. Look at that LC card, bang, look at these. That's, I mean, come on, it's not a foil, that's a bummer, but it is really nice, nice looking card. Uh, LC, there's a common, and there's an LC card right there. Whoa, wait a second. This is a parallel? Ah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 89P, LC, LC card, 89P, so this is a parallel. What is happening? She's got piggies on her hands as puppets? That's interesting. So first looking parallel card is pretty neat. An actual P card, so we'll see how much value this is. I don't recognize it from the list I was glancing at before I started filming, just to try to take in what are their highest value cards so I know what I'm looking for a little bit. I don't remember seeing this one. Obviously if it's a P card though, should still have some value we're gonna have to see. So that is pretty cool. Not a huge fan of this design or stance or not a huge fan of this one, honestly. It's it's kind of weird. <laughs> Watch it be like some crazy $50 card and I'm just sitting here complaining about how I don't like the artwork. Well, hey, I collect these cards for the artwork, for the awesome, awesome creative designs that these artists have. Like, come on, that looks awesome. And so, you know, if it doesn't fly with me, it doesn't fly with me. It's subjective. Art is subjective, y'all. LC card here. Ooh, ooh, don't flash behind it, but dang, that's a sweet one. That is really, really cool. Ah, wow, we're getting a lot of the LCs with a super rare, very nice super rare. Wow, she is awesome. This is what I'm talking about. Just amazing artwork, just beyond what a lot of people are putting out right now. Look at that, it like spreads out the, bang, you can like kind of aim the textured foiling. It's so interesting how they do their foiling. That is really neat. Awesome card to find. I feel like we're doing pretty well. I know our first pack kind of threw us off with not getting a foil, but I feel like we're getting the hits. So no complaints here so far. All right, rare, rare, and a common. Is there anything else? Nope, this is it. This is just the full art, common, non-foil version. She's interesting. She's got like horns on her head. She's a little demon girl thing. Okay. It'll be interesting to price this one out, that's for sure. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna be pricing. Obviously these cards have such weird value. Sometimes you gotta be really careful. A lot of times it's overvalued, overpriced on a lot of websites. So I tend to just stick with what prices are at and give a medium or uh, like low average to the nice foil cards. But some of these, you know, we got these nice full art rares like this one. Awesome character, by the way. Um, this one may still have decent value, so I'm gonna have to look these up and probably price these too, but rare. And then we got another super rare, looking really cool. I think I have her. She must be a reprint from another set because I do believe I gotten her card before from another series. Not sure which one, but again, with that foiling, just looking extra sharp. Keep it moving, let's see it. We're getting some interesting full art stuff. That girl looked like Cayuga from Force of Will. That girl just is, Wow, just dang, I don't know about that design at all. It's uh, interesting, interesting choice, but oh, oh my, oh my, wow. Look at that, signed parallel card. And these were the ones I was talking about. Multiple people on the card was what I was seeing for the top rated cards. This is a huge, huge hit. This is incredible. Alice in Wonderland. Let's just take a closer look if I haven't already done full screen, but I'm kind of, wow, that is so cool. P card right there, LC, signed and everything. That is incredible. Holy cow, that's gotta be like, I wanna say at least $50, at least, at least some of these crazy parallel cards can go for a lot, a lot, a lot. This is nutty to the degree where I'm putting it in sleeves and I'm getting it safe. We'll even put it in one of the sleeves we got from the packaging. I always double sleeve. I get the perfect fits on and then I get them in the normal sleeve here. So let's get it in there, see how it looks. It's a nice clear case, which I like. I hate like the matted finish on these. Uh, it's so annoying when they have the matted finish, but there we go. 
All nice and protected. I'll probably, depending on the price, I'll probably get this in a top loader, honestly, too, because it's probably worth it. Okay, safe to say I think that's probably the biggest hit of the box that we're going to see. We may still get... Uh, I don't know if we'll get a secret. That was probably in place of our secret. There are some secret rares in here as well, but common full art right there, and then a beautiful bag. Another parallel. Another P card. Another parallel card for a rare. Holy crap. That is stellar. Dang. Wow. Okay, we are, um, we are getting a great box. I think our box was uh, pretty stacked here so far. This has been crazy, man. Another P card for the rare. So what is what is the number on this one? It's a 043P. Uh, those are the numbers you want to be looking out for. That's for sure. Holy crap. So three, three P cards so far in this box. Is that normal? I feel like I've never pulled that amount of P cards before in a box. That's crazy. I'm going to have to get these all sleeved up. Just everything's getting sleeves. Utilize those sleeves that we got. They're actually pretty nice sleeves, I'll be honest. It's good quality. I like it. Better than some of the stuff you get handed from Pokemon, just saying. But look at this. We got a nice LC card here. That's going to have a little bit of value, I'm sure. Nice full art of it. Non-foil, so let's see what's behind it here. All right, it's just this, nor the normal rare, and then, okay, we got another copy of this common full art one. All right. Jeez, oh, pizza. This has been a crazy box. All right, we've only got a few more packs left, I think. We're coming down to it, so rare, rare. And then uh, World Girl here. What is going on? She's like stuck in the world. That is interesting. Common, and that's it. Okay, just the common. Next up, let's see it. We got a nice Rainbow Girl here on the top. Pretty sick. I love the borders of this card. I said it before, I'll say it again. Looks great. Well done design. Common, and yo, a secret. What is happening? What is happening? This is actually nutty. Someone, someone please who knows we cross, give me some pull rate information. Tell me if I'm getting extremely lucky or not, or if this is normal for reincarnation. I have no clue. We just got a secret rare. Holy crap. What's that say? Memorial number one signature. I don't see like the signature unless that just counts as a signature, but this is an awesome secret. Dang. This is so crazy. I cannot believe this beautiful card too. Like it is nice. It's a nice looking card. This is a crazy box. Holy cow, man. That is phenomenal. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have a blast looking up prices later. Oh my gosh. They just keep getting out of the box. We still actually have a few left here. All right. We got five left, five left everyone. Oh my goodness me. That is crazy. So a couple, like three parallels, a secret, it just seems like bananas beyond belief. I don't even know. Look at this beautiful, stunning, rare, another P. All right, our P, I see there's, maybe I'm getting like some inconsistencies with the boxes and how they do them between like the diva boxes and like the regular Wii Cross boxes, like reincarnation, wilds, things like that. Maybe the P cards are a different level of rarity on the scale, depending on which ones you go to, which sets you go to. I don't know, because this is, this is kind of crazy that we're pulling another P card I mean, guys, these are no joke. Like, this is, this is crazy. Uh, these are high value cards sometimes. I really don't know what to expect, especially that signature one. Definitely for sure. But now I'm like, this is the fourth one. Now I'm like second guessing myself. I don't know. It's just such a stark difference from the other boxes of why uh, we cross that I've pulled, uh, like Wiles and things like that. I, you don't see the P cards, you know? Where were they? I don't really remember seeing like, a whole lot of anything in those. We got some good cards, don't get me wrong, but still kind of crazy. So I don't know, maybe the set is just a, a little different. I'm not sure, but I'm seeing some white at the end. Don't know what that's going to be, but let's find out. Three outside. We got our nice rare girl again, our another parallel one that we just got. Try not to show the end there, but there it is. Whoa! Look at that stunning card. All right, this is not... I know for a fact that the P version of this is like one of those really highly expensive cards. Uh, this is not, but it's still a beautiful full art foil. Holy cow, LR card, full art foil. I'm guessing it's gotta be worth like at least 25, maybe 30, I don't know. Uh, I'd be surprised if it's lower than 20. Uh, that's for sure, this is an awesome card. Cover Girls right there, awesome to find this one. Really sick, man, the texture. There's some really nice textures going on on this card too. Just the feel of the card just looks in, 
It's an, it's an awesome card. This is phenomenal. What a freaking box, man. This is nuts. But we have two left, so let's get into it. Let's close this thing out. Let's close out strong, although we don't really need to. This box has been strong, I feel like. This whole box has been just crazy strong. All right, our card and an LC card right there. She's an awesome character, really like her. And another full art LC card, non-foil. So we got double LC cards here. She's really cool too. I like her a lot, wow. Last pack guys, last pack, let's do this. All right, let's take our time. Let's see how we can close this thing out. Oh man, okay. What a ride this uh, box has been. I don't even know. We got some really good stuff here. Let's see, common. That is it. Okay, just the full art common here on this one, non-foil. I mean, just, just before we go into polls of the day, we only got one common foil card. The rest were all like super rares and crap. That's kind of nutty. All right, let's do some polls of the day here. Now, again, I've had to make some cuts here to make polls of the day nice and short for you guys. I think there's still a lot of stuff that I'm not including in the polls of the day that have some really decent value. So keep that in mind. But these are just what I'm thinking as far as order uh, lowest to highest value is what I'm thinking. It's nice, super rare here, foil, full art, uh, rare here. This is a P card, so I'm guessing it's going to be more expensive than that super rare. Uh, this one's not a P card, uh, so this one actually should probably flip with that rare parallel, but still really cool card. Now we get into some more of the P cards, but now it's the LC parallel card, really, really sharp. Um, again, not a huge fan of the artwork though, but then we go into the Elric card here. Very, very clean. I think this one should have a lot of value. Behind that, our secret, our secret rare card. That's so crazy. And then of course, I didn't even put it on the back here. It's our nice signed parallel LC card. This one's gotta be taking the cake for most valued. That is crazy good and an awesome stellar looking card. Guys, thank you again for watching. If you enjoy the We Cross videos, make sure to leave a like and leave a comment down below saying that you want more of this content. Let me know because I love opening these things and I'd love to see more people coming in and watching the We Cross videos. Make sure to subscribe as well so you don't miss any of the new content coming out and stay tuned. We got a lot more boxes that you, see, you can see here and I'm still getting them here and there. So if there's a series that you wanna see, let me know in the comments and thank you guys again. We will see you in the next video.